This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Now, if you saw my last video, you, you know where we are. We got this very dodgy load that we've been told by four separate people. Did I do four or five? Four. Four separate people have told me this load should be on a flatbed, uh, sorry, on a curtain slider, not a flatbed. I need to check the straps uh, just down the road because it will shift. Someone said I'm brave taking it on a flatbed. Yeah, it's interesting. Now, as I briefly mentioned, sorry, I've got my door open, I'll close it when I get in. I put, as I briefly mentioned in my last video, I've got two straps over each pallet. There's eight pallets either side, so 16 straps. And then on the back end, we've crisscrossed. Um, so basically you'll see a strap there going up and over, same on the other end, uh, other side, sorry. So what that means is you get a crisscross on the back, sort of holding it on and pulling it forward uh, to try and be extra safe. So um, yeah, so it's going to be interesting. I've been told multiple times by multiple people that it shouldn't be on a flatbed and uh, I'm brave <laughs> to be taking it on a flatbed. Uh, I've had people say that their load has shifted even in a curtain slider. So we've got to be careful on this one, especially seeing as we're going all the way to Wales with it. I haven't put it in the sat nav yet because I'm still waiting for the paperwork. I've got to go and get it. <coughs> but I reckon it's a good seven hours away at least. So let's go grab paperwork, put it in the sat nav, and see how long it's going to take to get there. Okay, we're loaded, we're strapped, and we kind of have paperwork. We don't actually have a delivery address, we've just got a bit of paperwork that says we've been loaded. Um, I know roughly where, we, well, I know where and where was we going. We're going to Halford, Halford West, Haverford West. Uh, that's where we're going. According to the sat-nav, we are seven and a half hours away. Um, so this is again going to be over a couple of days, going to involve a night out. Um, yeah, seven and a half hours away. I know, of a, I know of a parking space, six hours and 10 minutes away. So yeah, we will need to get a 45 minute break down on the way, which means we probably won't be there until, you know, maybe half six-ish. Very much depends on traffic as well. Satnav is telling me to go straight on, but all HGVs must turn right. That's annoying, because I wanted to go that way, but never mind. Hopefully the Satnav will uh, reroute. So yeah, I've been told very careful, well, a few times to be very careful with this load. Um, Apparently it likes to shift, so yeah, I, I need to keep an eye on it and uh, don't go too fast around any corners, basically, because we, uh, we could be in trouble. It is a very light load, I can barely feel it. I need fuel as well, I completely forgot about that. I need to stop and get some fuel somewhere. I've got a quarter of a tank, well, just over a quarter of a tank. So next fuel station, I will probably fill up with fuel and uh, and then re-tighten the straps is probably what I'm going to do. Um, I, have, I think route-wise I'm going motorways like down past Birmingham and then uh, coming off I think Telford area and then cut across Wales I think but I know it's also quite hilly and I, I do want to be careful with the Welsh hills. Clear right, clear left. I've got to be very careful coming out don't want to go too fast yeah I don't see too much of a problem with it like I feel like I've done worse loads just weird how literally four different people told me to be careful I was there just like yeah it'd be right okay we do actually now have uh, an address come through the boss just sent it through CCF station road Latterson Hereford West so I don't actually have the address into the postcode at the moment. Like I said, I'm not actually getting there today anyway, so... I've just got a random postcode in, in that area, so on the main, I think it's the A40. So uh, it'd be somewhere around there. ETK could be slightly more, could be slightly less, I don't know. But um, yeah, so we're just going to crack on. Like I said, we've got a long drive ahead of us. We'll stop and get some fuel, re those straps up. Um, it's one of them where I've done them up as tight as I can do them up and the straps are pretty much at their 
you know their most capacity so to do them up any tighter you sort of got to undo them and then do them back up again but because it's been compressed it will do up tighter so yeah we've got well, how many straps we got it's, uh, 18 straps we got so it'd be probably be a case of undoing all 18 straps and redoing them back up so i try and do that on the pump while i'm filling up like just quickly go around and make sure they're all tight while we're filling out the fuel anyway i'm gonna go i'll see you shortly the essential new truckers handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry this book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Trucker's Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Okay, you join me uh, just just under three and a half hours later. We are on the M42, sort of just before Birmingham, and we've come to a complete standstill. Oh, that's that's me. Uh, truck saying it's kicking itself into neutral. That person's just gone for a whiz. Um, yeah, so not ideal. Uh, we're now currently sat on the M42 waiting for traffic. Um, we've got to get a break in. We've only got an hour and five minutes left of driving time before we need to stop for a break. So I'm hoping that um, this traffic gets a move on so we can get there. Failing that, we might get a break in in the traffic if we're sat around doing nothing. Then how long it's going to be uh, like this for? Like I said, we've been stationary now for... A good, uh, good sort of ten minutes. So yeah, engine off, I think. Engine off. I've seen, I've seen an ambulance go whizzing past on their hard shoulder, and I've seen a traffic officer go whizzing past as well. Uh, and the sign behind said lane closure, so there's obviously been an accident up ahead. Someone can't drive in a straight line. Annoyingly, according to Google, it's like literally just in front. Like the traffic is well behind us. We're at the front. Um, literally like just round this, there's like a slight left bend. I think that's where the accident is. Right, we are on the move. Literally just, uh, just, I don't know, like 20 seconds after I just finished that last clip, traffic started moving again. It looks like whatever caused the lane closure is now completely moved. So we're expecting to see something now broken down on the left-hand side or the ambulance on the left side or something. Guarantee it's going to start breaking. Just going to get over to leave a little bit of extra room. There we go. Come on, keep going. <laughs> keep going, everyone. Okay, right, we're going to crack on now. We aim to stop at Hotwood Services, uh, where we're going to stop and have our break, reset our driving time, because by the time we get there, like I said, we're on three hours, we're on three and a half hours now. We're a good 38 minutes away from there, so we're gonna be on like four hours, 10 uh, ish. So we're gonna stop there, have the, the, our break, and then we carry on to um, where we're gonna to get to tonight, which I, I'm gonna get, I think it's like a couple of hours from there, I think, something like that. But it will be in rush hour traffic as well, so we've got, we do have that to contend with. But um, anyway, let's crack on to the services. Right, we've just stopped at Hotwood Services. We've just sort of parked this direction so we can just nip straight out and crack on as soon as we've had our break. This lorry, uh, I thought, I think he thought I was going <laughs> and he sort of followed me into this space. <laughs> no, mate, I'm parking up. Um, so we'll have, we'll have the rest of our break and then we will crack on. Okay, break is just about up. So let's crack on. Start her up. 
and uh, make our way to where we're going to park up for the night. About two hours, 22 minutes away. There we go. Let's crack on. Right, you join me on the M4 pretty much near Cardiff. Um, we're still a good 35 minutes away from where we want to park tonight. Just turn them lights on so you can see me. Um, which is a bit of an issue because we are on 8 hours and 28 minutes of driving. Um, so we've only got 30 minutes of drive time left, but we're 35 minutes away from where we want to park. That's on a 9 hour drive. Um, which is annoying, because that means I think we're going to go into a 10 hour drive for 5 minutes, basically. Um, which is a bit frustrating. It is Wednesday. Going into a 10 hour drive is completely optional, by the way. It's the driver's, um, what's the word? Discrepancy? <laughs> I don't know the word. It's up to the driver if they use a 10 hour drive or not. Um, but if I do go into a 10 hour drive today, that only means I've got one left. And I like to leave them for a Friday, just in case. I've got a busy day because it has been the case where you need that extra hour just to get back especially with traffic traffic on a friday is normally pretty bad so yes i may go in to a 10 hour drive it's looking likely there's four minutes in it currently i'm on 8 30 and the sat nav says i'm 34 minutes away so depends traffic could ease up and i could make those four minutes up or it could go over. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, we're nearly there. Nearly there. Tell you what, I've definitely been putting in the miles in this week. <laughs> miles have been put in this week. Oh, also, something else I wanted to talk about. So, the load. Do you remember I said at the start of this video, and at the last end of the last video, they were like, oh, be careful with the load. The load's going to shift. Four separate people told me I've had no problem. Do you know what I mean? As long as you don't drive like an idiot. Detected at your front door. There's someone at my front door. <laughs> as long as you don't drive like a complete idiot, it's going to stay on the trailer, isn't it? Um, but I've strapped it up well. I've, I've used two straps for each row. Um, eight rows altogether. So that's 16 straps. And then crisscross two on the back. When we went into Hotwood Services, um, just before the brake started, we hopped out and we'd done all the straps up. So they, they needed doing up a little bit, some of them, but nothing massively. Um, so yeah, man, it's, the load's fine. We're, we're nearly there, like, well, I say nearly there. We've still got a good couple of hours driving to do in the morning. Uh, we're 30, 32 minutes away from where we need to park up tonight, or where I want to park up tonight. And we're two and a half hours away from our destination. So yeah, in the morning, we'll have two hours driving to do. So we're not like all the way there by any means. Um, and I, I hear what you're saying. If you're going to go into a 10 hour drive, why don't you just make use of that extra hour and get a little bit further? Well, again, up to the driver, isn't it? Um, it's up to me if I want to drive that extra hour or not. And I don't want to. <laughs> it's nearly quarter to seven at night. I'm not, a, I'm not the biggest fan of driving at night time. I'd much rather drive during the day. And you know, you've got to be safe and sensible. And, starting to feel a little bit fatigued by driving you know i've done by by the time i finish and i park up i would have done nine hours driving um that's a lot of driving even if you've been driving for six seven years like i have it's still a long day lots of driving and you've got to be well rested haven't you so i'd like to park up not do the extra hour driving get some rest start again in the morning nice and refreshed i think that's perfectly reasonable um so yeah it's up to me really, isn't it? Anyway, half an hour away. Um, let's get on and get parked up. Okay, we are a couple of miles away now from where we want to park up. And we are on 8 minutes 59. 8.59. So yeah, we've got like less than 60 seconds left to park up. Otherwise, we're going over a 9-hour drive and into a 10. Um, we're not going to be parked up in 60 seconds. So we are, we are going into a 10, a 10 hour drive. Um, but like I said earlier, that's my call. You know, it's up to me and uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I could have probably parked up earlier at Cardiff Services, but I don't wanna pay for services. I paid for services last night in the last video that you would have saw. And uh, we try not to spend too much in services. If I can do free parking, then I will. 
and I, this is free parking that I'm, that I'm aware of, that I know of. We're on nine hours driving now, so we've officially gone over. Um, as soon as you hit that nine hours, that's it, you've gone over a nine. Because it'll be nine hours and so many seconds, which means it's ending to a ten, so. So be it, like I said, it's Wednesday today. Uh, as long as we don't use a ten tomorrow, we've got one for Friday. And even if we do use a ten tomorrow, you know, so be it. I just have a nine left for Friday. Hopefully we're all right. If we're not, we get rescued. Hopefully, anyway. So it's all if, buts, and maybes, in it. Like you've got two to use in a week, two ten-hour drives, uh, and what with it being a Wednesday and I haven't used one yet, I think it's perfectly reasonable to use one now. I don't. I wouldn't want to use one on a Monday, and ideally not a Tuesday, but Wednesday, yeah. And if I haven't used any on Monday to Wednesday, then obviously Thursday, Friday, knock yourself out sort of thing. But yeah, never mind. Right, we're only a mile away. Uh, let's get this thing parked up. Hopefully it's not too busy there. I've parked here a few times in the past. I'm pretty sure as well, thinking about it, I'm pretty sure that I have turned up at this sort of time in the evening as well. But you never know. It might actually be filled up and we might not be able to park here. In which case, we, we will go on further. So we'll see, let's have a look. Okay, we're going right around this roundabout. If I remember rightly, there's quite a sharp turn, I might be wrong, where you've got to watch the trailer wheels. Yeah, I think you've got to watch the trailer wheels, otherwise um, it could clip. I might be wrong. Okay, industrial estates, industrial estates. It's not that right, I think it's the next one. Yes, this one. It's all, right. it's all right as long as you stay in the left lane. Obviously they've got a right lane here. If you get in that lane, it makes it even sharper. There we go, let's get around that one. Then we do an immediate left. There are more cars down here than I remember. Hmm, lots of cars. And I go left down here again normally. Right, we have one truck down here, parked where I would normally park as well. And uh, one behind him as well. Okay, is there any space down here? This is where I would have parked, ideally. I don't think it's quite wide enough for two trucks here. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of cars parked on that road, which aren't normally parked there. Ideally, I would have liked to park here because it's off the road. Why are there so many cars parked here? Okay, we're gonna to have to find somewhere else to park, I think. I don't feel comfortable parking on the pavement. I'm gonna take a left down here. I'm pretty sure I saw a truck parked up. Let's see her down here, if there's room for me as well. Park right in here, look. I think this would do.
I think there's a <laughs> there's a lady whose car is parked right behind me. I'm just gonna wait for her to move it and then I'll go back. She was watching me as I turned up, <laughs> making sure I didn't hit her car. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna wait for her to move and then I can go further back then. Right. The lady has moved who was in the car. And now we can go back. Lovely. So this is parking for the night. We did go into the nine hour, the 10 hour drive a little bit more than expected um, because we had to find somewhere to park. Where we were planning on parking, there was no space. So that's what that 10 hour drive is for, to find somewhere to park. I've just realized I've parked literally outside the police station. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's pretty safe to park. Who knows? I'm gonna say it's safe to park. I would like to be parked further on where that Audi is behind the other lorry. Just some away from the entrance. Haha, -ha. that Audi is moving. Good timing. I'm going to park where she is. And then I'm away from this entrance then for the police station. Oh, hang on. Oh, you just get straight from your car. No, nope, they're going. Okay, that's good. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's park over there instead. At least then I'm away from the entrance to the station. I feel more comfortable then being away from the entrance. Lovely. Right, so that is gonna be it for today. Um, we'll have nine hours off pretty much and then do it all over again in the morning. We've got two hours of driving to do before we get to our delivery point. So before the lights go off, I will see you in the morning. See you in a bit. I'm surprised they haven't gone off by now. Okay, there we go. Uh, uh, morning, morning everyone. I actually just started yawning <laughs> as I started filming. Morning, it is the next day. Um, it is nearly eight o'clock in the morning. We are just around the corner from the delivery. Um, now, I was thinking, because I've done a couple along the A40 now and it's all windy roads and whatnot, and I'm just thinking, I'm looking at the load, I'm like, what were they on about? Why why were they saying that I need to go careful and, and you know, oh, the load's rubbish, oh, the load's gonna slip, you need to do the straps up, because like it's been fine the load is not budged at all as long as you don't drive like an idiot you know it's not gonna you know i've done it up securely done it up safely <laughs> the load's got here in one piece unless i seriously mess up in the next 1.3 miles <laughs> on the, the final uh, the final arrival but yeah it's all it's all got here perfectly fine i just i don't quite understand why everyone was stressing so much um I had one bloke come over to me and said, oh, normally it goes on curtain cider. Another bloke come over to me and said, um, oh, I don't know why they stack it so high. They shouldn't stack it so high. A driver said, you know, that um, they've had, he's had it on a curtain cider and it's gone. Like the load slipped. <laughs> and only the curtains were like holding it in. And uh, I mean, I don't want to be rude, but like, how were you driving? <laughs> um, I think, I do suspect that, that um, it was, probably not secured properly in the curtain slider, i.e. not strapped. But it's strapped up on my trailer and it's got here in one piece. So far, we literally just got to go down here somewhere. So, let's start indicating to make a right-hand turn. We want to go on to Station Road. It looked like a relatively tight right turn if there were any other vehicles to coming out. Um, yeah, we won't make it if, if there's any vehicle coming out. So we've got to make sure there's nothing coming before we go. Yeah, all clear. A 
looks a bit narrow down here, doesn't it? Nice little bungalows. Houses on the left. Someone's at your front door. Someone's at my front door. Um, yeah, so we've got to go down here. There's like a, a right turn, I think, and then a left turn. And on the left turn is pretty much where we want to be. Memorial Hall. Quite nice views for these houses with the with the hills around. So this particular place, according to Google, they open up at quarter past eight. Uh, it's eight o'clock now, so we should be here before they are open to the public. Whether they're actually open before that or not, or arriving before that, I don't know. Um, we'll have to see, but we're just around the corner. We do have a car behind me, which answers that question of whether I should reverse in, because I was thinking about reversing into the place from this main road, but um, I'm not going to be able to, so I'm just going to just going to drive in. Oh wow, there's a coach and a lorry here. I don't know what this lorry is doing. Because ideally we want to be... Is he going up there? He's going up that road. It looks quite tight up there. But ideally we want to be parked here. Someone saw me, whether they walk off or not is a different matter. Hello mate, you right? I've got some product for you. Huh? I've got some product for you. Yeah, I can see that. I've got that lorry, Daddy. Ha <laughs> uh, i just seen him go up there. Yeah. Well, well, when that bus goes... Yeah. Just reverse straight back as you are. Yeah. There'll be another car, two cars parking in there. I'll unload it by there. Okay. And that lorry will be coming up here. Okay? There so is. When that bus goes, just wait there for a second. Yeah. And when the bus goes, just back up there, straight as you are now, like, park yep. on the road. Yeah. And I'll, I'll unload you from one side anyway. Brilliant. Okay, cool. Right. Yeah. Do you want a cup of tea or coffee? No, I'm good, thanks. Sure? Yeah, I'm a bit weird. I only have cold drinks. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't, no, there's don't, another driver comes in. Don't drink hot drinks, but I appreciate the offer, though. Yeah. No, no, that's fine. Uh, so, yeah, I'll be in where our lorry's parked there now. I'll be unloading it over there. Okay, cool. All right? Yeah, no worries. So I'll wait for that bus to move and then yeah, I'll go back. Yeah, that bus goes, he'll be gone soon now. He's just picking up the school kids, that's all. So, yeah. Lovely. And then, uh, there's another two cars that come along parked by that van, but then just park that side and I'll yeah. you by there then. Eh? Brilliant, all right. all right. What do I do with regards to turning round? Straight out there. Straight out that way, is That's it? That's where he's just gone. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, you've come in the right way, because it's better. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's because it's better to go up that road. Oh, is it? It's an arrow road, it's passing places. Yeah. There's a sharp corner straight ahead there. I've only ever driven an Arctic twice, and I've been around there twice. No worries. No problem. Yeah, I've been so down. It's, it's a better junction to come out on. Yeah. When you came down the main road now, you actually passed where this comes out. Yeah, all right. So to turn left. You turn around and go out. Yeah, I see. Yeah, you turn, yeah. go up there, turn right, then yeah. it's on the left. Yeah. 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 Because it takes you straight back. To that, go, that road leads out to the A40. Yeah, which is so where I was. you get up there, turn left. Because if you turn, go out here, you, you've got to wait for the traffic to clear because you've got to swing right across the road. You yeah. don't have to over here. Brilliant. All right. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Okay, no problem, no. Cheers, mate. I'll wait for that bus to go. Yeah, when that bus goes, I'll just pull my... No worries. I want to get some some stuff out. Hive is. Uh, I think I might do for now. I'm wearing shorts and T-shirt. Right, we are just undoing the straps. I'm... Uh, <coughs> slightly underestimated the weather <laughs> I'm in shorts and t-shirt um, just because that's like that's comfortable to drive in uh, and obviously inside the truck you can got you've got climate control so <laughs> you can set it to a comfortable level but now I'm out here on strapping a little bit cooled so I'm trying to get this done as quickly as I can and I can go sit back in the truck with the heating on and uh, find out where we're going from here because I don't actually know yet what we're doing from here so yeah but uh we've got to do a lot of straps up so let's get going 
Okay, all the straps are off. Lovely jubbly. I'm just gonna go put some ad blue in the tank now because it's running low. Uh, so I'm, I'm bound to get asked, why do I use these? It's cheaper to, but basically it's, to fill these up, it's cheaper to do it in the yard than it is at a service station. So we fill these up at the yard. Obviously I've been out all week, so I've not gone back to the yard. So uh, yeah, we use them just to top it up. So we are, straps are off, half the load's off. We've topped up with our blue, with that carton. Um, so let's go jump in the truck and wait for us to be finished. Oh, much warmer in here. You can watch them take them off for a distance. <laughs> so yeah, on the way out, he said we can go out that way. And yeah, looking at the, the maps, uh, you can see that, you know, we go up here, up there, and then go up left, which is where we come from. I don't actually know where we're going next. But more than likely it'll be going up there so happy days right see bad is on i uh i actually could do with taking my high-vis off lorries are allowed to not wear a seat belt for short periods of time if stopping within 100 yards or whatever it was 100 feet oh look i've just stopped there we go <laughs> Right, so um, yeah, we're gonna head back to the yard now. I've just been told, head back to the yard. We've got to do a trailer swap. And um, I don't know, don't know what I'm doing from there. I would uh, imagine in this case, we're gonna get it loaded somewhere. I would have thought. Got to take this left-hand turn relatively wide so we don't scrape the trailer wheels, look. Um, but it's actually quite a, <laughs> it's a bit of a trek back to the yard from here nearly a four hour drive to get there um, and when you take into consideration the two hours well over two hours we've already done that's six hours the day's nearly finished <laughs> um, yes yeah, so we, 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 we will need to have a break on the way back as well so we might not get back until about one ish um, and then do a trailer swap which means I can also top up with Adler as well refill my cartons up um, so that's one less thing I haven't got to worry about oh don't come down here mate Oh, there's a, a vehicle here. I've still got my beacons on just to let people know that I'm a large vehicle and coming down. Right, we're clear. Yeah, we can make that. Off we go, off we go back to the yard. That'll probably be the end of the video as well, if I'm honest, I'm not entirely sure how long this video is um, but I'm trying to I'm trying to keep them relatively short so I can upload them quicker and get more videos out basically because longer ones take longer to edit and um, you know the shorter it is the, sh the, the shorter a time it takes to edit and the more I can upload I might still upload the same overall length but over separate videos so yeah I'm going to end the video there thank you very much for watching hopefully you've appreciated it and hope so yeah I'm going to end the video there thank you very much for watching hopefully you've enjoyed it I do, I do appreciate you watching, I really do. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and all that sort of good stuff. And yeah, man, I'll, um, I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully uh, the load won't be as worrying. I wasn't even worried about the load. It's just the fact that they were going on about it. And I was like, oh, oh, maybe I need to be careful then. Um, but actually the load was totally fine. So what can you do? <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.